Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a hopefully reasonably quick review of the Backman books by Stephen King. So this is a compendium of four of the novels he released as Richard Backman, his pseudonym, and then eventually it got discovered it was King, and these are all reissued. So I'm going to read you the blurb because it's got a bit of information on each of the stories. Then I'll give you some background info on my reading of this, and then we'll tackle each of the stories. So the name on the covers was Richard Backman, but the imagination inside could only belong to one man. Stephen King explains why I was Richard Bachman. For years, readers wrote asking if Richard Bachman was really world best-selling Stephen King. That's a weird sentence. For years, readers wrote asking if Richard Bachman was really world best-selling Stephen King, writing under another name. Now the secret is out, and so brought together for the first time in one volume are these four spellbinding stories of future shock and suspense. Rage. A high school teenager becomes a gang of one in a terrifying display of rebellion. The Long Walk, a chilling look at the ultra-conservative America of the future where a gruelling 450-mile marathon is the ultimate sports competition. Roadwork, an immovable man refuses to surrender to the irresistible force of progress. And The Running Man, TV's future favourite game show where contestants are hunted to death in the attempt to win a billion dollar jackpot. I guess I'll start with how I kind of read this. So I've already read The Running Man, so I actually didn't bother rereading it for this. And I've considered this, the other three, as three different books in terms of my reviews. I'll go through each of them first. So we'll start with Rage. Rage is actually no longer in print, so I think this is really the only place you can still get it. Um, and I don't think this is still in print either. But basically that was removed because it's about a high school shooter and somebody who actually did a high school shooting was found with a copy of it in his locker. So King kind of decided to pull the novel. It actually read more like something like The Breakfast Club or something like that. The kid basically takes his class hostage and then he forces them all to sort of tell various truths. And um, I don't want to spoil the ending or anything like that, but it was interesting to see. It wasn't quite like Stockholm Syndrome. It was more as if like an exploration of how any of the kids in that room almost could have been the, the guy with the gun, you know? And... Uh, I think it, it did capture quite well how miserable high school can be and how how in, how unjust it can see, uh, unjust it can seem as well but um overall I mean it wasn't King's best but it was all right I would probably give a sort of a 3.5 3.75 out of 5 for that one let me get to The Long Walk. So this one is probably my favourite of the lot. So I actually read Rage and The Long Walk in one day while I was travelling to go on holiday. And then road work only took me a couple of days, you know, while I was there. But um, The Long Walk has really stuck with me and kind of the ideas in it. Just even the thought myself, like, how would I survive in this thing? So basically, all the kids in it, they've all kind of volunteered to do this walk. But I think it starts with 100 kids and you keep on walking. And if you drop below a certain speed, you get warnings three warnings and you, you get shot in the head uh, and you do actually you can kind of regain it though so you get three warnings but if you walk okay for another hour then you go down to two warnings and down to one warning etc but obviously you get to as it says on the back 450 miles they've been walking for days on end without stopping and um, I don't know it's just like a real physical but also mental battle I think between the different people doing it and at the same time you get this sort of dystopian government in the background and you get to see all the different motivations of the different characters and they start bonding and forming relationships even though they know only one of them can survive it was just really haunting really dark lots of people getting shot in the head but I would totally recommend it probably actually the best book that I read throughout the entire month so um, yeah de definitely worthy of the hype by the way, what I would say as well is that even though on the back it said like uh, stories of future shock and suspense, they actually feel arguably more relevant now than they did when they were published, possibly because they were future shock and suspense. And now they just feel almost plausible, you know? So Roadwork, Roadwork started slowly for me, but I did get into it after I started to kind of warm to the main character and also to get a grip with where the story was going. I do think it might have been better off if it had been called uh, Demolition. I just think that would have been a more apt title for it. But um, yeah, the the characterization in, in it was great. It was basically about this guy and this, this new road is being planned and they're gonna knock down the laundry where he works. They're gonna knock down his house and he just doesn't wanna go. And so he kind of decides to do almost like a Custer's last stand in his house. And uh, But along the way, he meets like a lot of different people and it's kind of watching him go through this journey and you know things go wrong with his wife as well and you know it's not going to have a happy ending but it, you keep on reading anyway so yeah i did enjoy that uh, oh sorry the long walk out of this i would give uh it's got to be a five out of five i think i gave it a 4.5 out of five in my review and i like upgraded it later because the story still stuck in my head and road work 
Roadwork is a four, I think. And then finally we have The Running Man, which like I say, I didn't read during this read through, but I have read it once or twice in the past. And uh, that's probably my second favorite actually behind The Long Walk. They both have similar vibes to them because again, it's this sort of survival thing in almost a game show or a sport or something like that. This guy's being hunted to death. He's being forced to survive. And even when he makes like alliances, he doesn't know whether he can trust them or not. And arguably that's the best one out of these to sort of see more of this future government, this sort of future dystopian government that that Batman or King are, are kind of creating, you know. So I would give The Running Man 4.5 out of 5. I would say definitely pick this up if you can. But as an overall, I would give it, I guess, the overall thing is a 4 out of 5, but a solid 4 out of 5, you know. I would recommend getting it, but I would say... If you could only get one of these or only two of these, it would be The Long Walk or The Long Walk and The Running Man. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to get through everything King wrote, so that's why I'm here. So there we have it. I think I did it. I did it in, like, less than ten minutes, which is good. So on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you thought of this book if you've read it. If not, let me know if you're going to read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.